open your eyes. If you are wondering why everything going on in the world feels so terribly off, then you have come to the right place. A veil has been put over the eyes of humanity. Evil people in high places have been hiding the truth in plain sight and building a false reality on lies and deception for far too long. And now, their time is coming to an end. It's time to fight back, to wake up, and to begin an uprising. Now is a time for judgment. This is a time for judgment. Welcome to today's show. This is beyond disturbing, but we've reached a point in our society where even joking about child sacrifice and human sacrifice and eating the flesh of children has become funny to people. And we have fake comedians on late night television shows joking about this. They hit the laugh box and the zombies in the audience actually laugh about it. But should we be surprised? We live in a world right now where the top talking point for politics is about whether or not a woman should be allowed to commit human sacrifice legally. So I guess it shouldn't surprise us. Now, you might all remember Snuggle the Bear. Some of you are probably too old, but Snuggle the Bear was an advertisement they used to use for laundry detergent or laundry softener, one of the two. And they used to play it in the 80s. It was a, you know, whatever. Well, Jimmy Kimmel, whose ratings are enough to, well, they speak for themselves for these people who worship Satan. The fact that they are pushed onto all of us and they continue to draw less ratings than people on YouTube draw is pretty embarrassing. But these people constantly show their hand. I'm going to show you this video that they played. Of course, remember, I said it with the, with Elon Musk and all these celebrities that come out in Halloween they love to use Halloween as a way to flaunt this stuff. I've proven over the years that human sacrifice, child sacrifice, Israel, I'll get into that after the fact. But take a look at this clip played on Jimmy Kimmel about Snuggle the Bear sacrificing an infant baby. Oh, Jimmy. the fabric softener bear. Remember Snuggle Bear from the old commercials? Do you remember Snuggle Bear from the commercials, Guillermo? Yes, Jimmy, of course, from the you commercials. Did. Snuggle yeah. Bear was big. In 1986, it was like uh, like Snuggle Bear and Mr. T were the hot couple. In case you're too young to have seen Snuggles, or maybe you just don't remember, this is the bear that captured America's hearts and laundry in the year 1986. Once upon a time, fabric softeners cost a lot, but now there's new Snuggle fabric softener. Hi, I'm Snuggles. Snuggly softness that's really less expensive. Look, I get towels fluffy, <laughs> blankets cuddly, even shirts caked with blood. It was an accident. <laughs> you know what else is soft? Human flesh. Baby flesh. Wait, where is your baby? Dryer's going, they'll never hear you scream. The dark lord shall be pleased with me. Snuggle brand fabric softener, proudly made. That is so beyond disturbing, the fact that that is considered comedy in 2022. Now, some people will be like, well, you're a stick in the mud. You, you don't have a personality. You're not funny. Look, there is nothing funny about anything when it comes to child sacrifice or any dis anything with kids is disgusting and it's sick. And these people have constantly been getting away with this in this new world that we're living in. We actually have audiences that were laughing at that. What in the world is funny about that? Seriously. I mean, this is something that really goes on. So they take advantage of the fact that it's Halloween to joke about these things. They desensitize people and they've been desensitizing people through the movies and the music videos for years and years and years now. 
that we're at a point where when people hear certain people like me talk about these topics, they automatically think conspiracy because the media has done such a number on everybody's heads about satanic panic, conspiracy theories about, uh, you know, children, Pizzagate, et cetera, et cetera. But the fact of the matter is all one has to do is look through history to see that this is real and it's been a real problem. You can go back to the Old Testament and read about sacrifice to Baal. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't believe in the Bible and you're an atheist, this is something that should wake you up, the fact that they're constantly referencing this. Look into why witches were constantly run out of towns, why they were burned. Look into this thing called the blood libel, which is you know something that people should talk about. But you see, you can't talk about a certain group of people in this world. If you do, you're automatically labeled. Even if you call out the things that they teach in their books, you're not allowed to do it. You should be imprisoned for it, if, in fact. So if you actually look back into the blood libel and bring up questions about it, you are a horrible person and should be thrown in prison. But the fact of the matter is these people have constantly been caught doing this with children. Now these people who control the media are obviously covering this up by pretty much going out there and glorifying it, using comedy to get away with this stuff. And, you know, I've covered before like sh stores like Hot Topic selling shirts that have an image of, you know, somebody sacrificing children on it. I mean, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. It's not even, you know, it was at one point it was just like you'd see a horror movie and that would be in the horror movie. People are like, oh my goodness, that's so grotesque. That's so scary. That's so bad. Now it's like it's put in, it's mixed into these comedy shows. Like they're actually comedy bits. And you have an audience that's sitting there instead of looking at one another going, uh, this is pretty sick. Uh, that's not funny. They're actually laughing at it. And they're looking up at the box that says applause and they're applauding to it instead of being, you know, having souls, I should say, and saying, okay, this is sick. This is dis disgusting. Where do we stop? But again, like I said earlier in the video, we live in a world where we have food shortages. We have a, a tyrannical government on both sides taking over. Okay, this isn't a uh, Republican channel. This is a left-right paradigm exposing channel. We have both sides that are just completely taking over and taking our rights away and working each other to take our rights away. So we have all these things going on in our world. But again, the top issue continues to be if a woman should be allowed to commit human sacrifice. I mean, it's pretty, pretty amazing, isn't it? That they've convinced people that that has something to do with a woman's right uh, to make choices. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know last time I checked, uh, you know, you really don't have a right to commit murder without paying the consequences, but... According to these people, you do. So Jimmy Kimmel, who's been on the record before, I've, I've exposed this guy dozens of times. I mean, he's probably the most embarrassing one of these late night. I don't know. It's hard to say. They're so, all so bad. Colbert is so bad. This guy is so bad. But the best part about it is you could sit here and you could rip these people. But you know that they're narcissists. You know, they're obviously handpicked by the elite. They're all related. I've covered even Colbert being connected to Podesta, being connected to Pizza Gate. Of course they are, because they're all connected to each other. And when that all occurred, the fact that Colbert was coming out and bringing attention to it was shocking to most of us. I was shell shocked because I was one of the first channels, if not the first channel, that brought it up and started exposing it and started going through this, you know, the restaurant and the stores next to it and what was across the street, the, uh, you know, the Clinton Foundation having the trafficking thing across the street from the the Masonic Lodge right on the corner to the art gallery that was a front for, uh, you know, laundering money. I mean, it was pretty insane that they actually brought attention to it, but they did, and they created a PSYOP right after it, right down at the pizza place. But anyway, of course Colbert is connected to it. And of course, Kimmel is connected to it too. But what's funny about it is that they're pushed down everyone's throats, and they're supposed to be like, oh, you know, these big famous celebrities, and their ratings are so bad. They're a reflection of how bad they are. These aren't comics. These are propagandists. That's what they are. There's nothing funny about their shows. Nobody finds it funny. And when I say nobody, it's probably like nine out of 10 people would say it's not funny. But somehow we have a small percentage of people that'll see the Snuggles skit, will laugh about it, and think that that doesn't really exist. We'll even have Christians who are like, oh, come on, that's funny. Have a sense of humor. Right, And you could just say, well, you know that this is something that really goes on. They'd say, no, it's not, because wouldn't it be on the news and the police would be arresting these people? Oh, uh, no, it's a massive cover-up. And that's the whole point of the satanic panic. That's the whole point of what they've done over the last 30, 40 years with all their CIA operations, Mockingbird, except you name it, to cover up all this stuff and twist everything into their advantage. They've been exposed since the, you know, going back to bail worship. And it's never stopped if you look throughout human history. 
These stories get suppressed. And the only time when I bring up stuff like the blood libel, people research the blood libel. Of course, Google has censored what comes up. And the first thing that comes up is that it's anti you know what. And it's just some type of conspiracy. Because whenever they label something a conspiracy theory, you might as well take it as fact at this point. Unless it has to do with politics. Because the entire thing when it comes to politics is a show. But when it comes to all this other stuff, just label it as fact. Because at this point, they're so desperate to peddle their propaganda that they'll just automatically just label anything that's true as a conspiracy theory. When history shows us that the blood libel was real and it really occurred. Even things that I've covered in the past about Baphomet worship with the Knights Templar and Friday the 13th and the connection. You look that up. It's like, it's a conspiracy and Christians wrongfully burn people alive. And, you know, that's how they try to twist this stuff. But again... This is the type of stuff that gets played on mainstream television, right? This is getting played. I mean, I don't know how many people watch a show. I think it's like a million, which is pretty pathetic. When you're on, you know, ABC, which is in every household in the country that has a television, and people on YouTube get more views, that, you know, and they're, they're pushing this as comedy. But it's right there for everybody to see. It's right in front of everyone's noses, yet they continue to go, oh, this stuff is just funny. They're desensitizing you to it. That's what they've been doing for 20 to 30 years. That's how we've gotten from the LGTQZY agenda to where we are now, where we have actually have trans inside of schools trying to teach children, where they're trying to teach you about this stuff in school. 15 years ago, every single person would have been like, there's no way ever that that would happen. 30 years ago, they would have probably put you in jail for talking about it. How did we get to that point? Desensitizing people. So what do you think they're doing now? I've talked about this for the last 10 years, about how they put children in these adult roles. That was to desensitize people. Now they're desensitizing people to cannibalism and child sacrifice. That's why you see this all over the place. That's why. They're constantly bringing attention to it, but they're bringing it in a det- you know attention saying, this doesn't really happen. And the people see it and hear about it more and more. All it would take two years from now is to say, hey, did you know that child sacrifice is actually good for your health? And these idiots would be like, yeah, how so? And they'd say, oh, well, you know, if you actually drink your child's blood, it actually can make you live longer. So what's the big deal? It's just a sacrifice to make you better. And they would believe it. They would. That's how stupid this society is. That's how brainwashed this society is. It's a scary time to be alive, but the truth couldn't be more in front of our faces. You know, there's the, the mindset of like technology, how bad it is, how dangerous it is, and I agree 100%. But on the flip side of that, which has made it dangerous for them, is that all of this stuff is now at your fingertips to see, to learn. And that's why they have to peddle all this conspiracy theory, fake news, misinformation crap to try to protect themselves because they know that their own technology can backfire against them. Back in the day, in the 80s and 90s, if you wanted to find out information about the occult and secret societies and all of this stuff that was going on, You know, you would have to find like a guy speaking in your town and he was handing out pamphlets. You know, guys were selling their own books. Publishers wouldn't pick it up. Now you could have your own book published. You could talk about this stuff. And with technology, you could sell. You could you could be on YouTube like me talking about it. And so they know as important as it is for them to have human beings connected to technology, that technology can actually wake people up at the same time. So that's why they have to peddle the propaganda. So Jimmy Kimmel not hiding it. They'll, the idiots out there, if you read the comments, they'll be like, it's Halloween. Give me a break. It's the same thing with the Elon Musk. I knew, you know, I saw all the comments. For the most part, the people on my channel obviously know what's going on. But I, I saw the comments beneath it, like on Twitter and places like that. And you could see what people are saying. They're like, it's Halloween. Elon's not doing it. I mean, there were people that commented on mine saying, that's a stretch. That's ridiculous. It's Halloween. Give him a break. He's trolling them. These people are openly, they use Halloween to openly show you this stuff and be able to get away with it. But we all know because 365 days of the year, they're still showing you the signs and symbols. Elon Musk is still connected to all this stuff. Jimmy Kimmel is still connected to this stuff. Stephen Cole, but all of them, they're all connected to it at all times. So it's not like, you know, Elon Musk, oh, it's Halloween. Oh yeah. What about Starlink? What about Neuralink? What about Tesla and electric cars? No, none of that matters. Oh, okay. Then they can come out and they can show you snuggle the bear committing child sacrifice and having an audience laugh. And they go, we'll have a sense of humor. Oh, yeah. No, there's nothing funny about child sacrifice. It's real. It occurs daily. And the people in power around this country, around the world, are the ones who are doing it as we speak. Sickening. Sickening how we've allowed them to take over. I thank you for being here. I hope everyone will check out the website at timeforjudgment.com. It's $2.99 a month. It's well worth it. I hope to see people over there. 
share stuff over on the website. Let's check out exclusive content as well. I thank you guys for being here. God bless all of you and your families.